think I am ready for more. <laughs> this shit is good. I am ready to apply for Pakal when the MGE rolls out and there's going to be a survey from the kingdom. I'm going to try to apply. Hopefully I get it. Hopefully I can unlock Pakal. I think I've made my decision. I am really, really leaning into getting Pakal. Oh my goodness. This guy is absolutely insane. When I say it's insane, it is insane. Now, we're going to take a little bit break on our um, troop training videos. As you guys have seen, we have um, been accumulating all these videos from other players from what they have done for the pre-KVK stage. We're going to upload that pretty soon. I need to be doing a lot of editing for that soon in here. So what you're going to see is the compilation of Amadis. Hopefully, Baba is going to be able to send us a video. If not, it's okay. But I'm hoping he would have the time to have recorded it. Would definitely love to see Baba's training. UAE AF, we already have the video. We just got allowance video today and as well at Amid 7 in here. So you're going to see the biggest players of Rise of Kingdoms here in 1412 doing their insane training. And we're going to bring back the refreshments there. Do you guys know what was the refreshments that we need when we're getting into those extra hyped up um, you know, contents that we've got. So for today, we're just going to really talk about the new commanders because I've been delayed and I haven't had the chance to talk about the new commanders. Kenichi Jana Bakal and the Chong Jok Yong. Okay, we're going to talk about these two commanders in here. First of all, I told you that, man, I'm excited for Bakal. Definitely going to get Bakal. I think I've set my mind. He's just not really just, he's going to be really great, not just for like rallying, but he's also going to be really good for open field. And with my setup in here, I can do rallies, I can do open field. I think the next gear that I'm going to be working into is going for the legendary of infantry. So I was thinking like, should I get Xiang Yu? Uh, should I go for William? Uh, but I think since I've already have been working on infantry, the archer infantry combination, I think we're going to stick into that path. Uh, for them to release such great infantry, it kind of motivates me to really go into the infantry further and stick with the setup that I have right now. For the gear that I have, right, I've already got some legendary infantry gears. I'm definitely going to build more. I'm trying to get the set. I guess it hits 4 UTC right now because, yep. For UTC, because the courier station is right here. If you guys want to know the, all the times in here for the uh, courier station, go and check out rok.guide, some of the hidden things, because we've made a video and he had linked our video into his text guide as well. So, Pakal, why is Pakal really great? First of all, I want to say the infantry, defense, those are the two things that I love, especially the defense. And this is a commander that is very different compared to Richard and as well, uh, as well as Martel. Because if you look into the infantry, Richard and Martel has infantry and defense. Once you go into Alexander, you don't see that defense. Once you go into Guan Yu, you don't see that defense, right? And then Zenobia, you don't see the defense, you see support. You go to Harold, you see skill. So they finally brought back a commander that has a defense ability. Um, when you see, when you look into Leonidas, you do see the defense, but it's been a while since we've seen a defense 
commander from the infantry this is the fourth one so as you can see what i like about this is that this is going to be uber uberly tanky this is going to be absolutely tanky <laughs> uh this is why auntie jenny left us yeah it's going to be really tanky so this one has a shield deals damage to the current target up to 1300 damage factor Troops led by this commander will gain shield for 3 seconds and which can absorb a 500 damage factor. This is going to be really tanky. It's got that shield. It's got that damage. It's everything that you need from a commander. A ruler of Palenque. You know in the Philippines, Palenque means like market. This is what it means too. Palenque, market in, in Hispanic or in Spanish. Um, infantry units led by this commander will gain 10% increased health. Wow. And 3% marching speed. So when this commander launches a rally attack, all damage dealt is going to be increased by 5%. All damage that is going to affect skill damage as well. Normal attack, counter attack, every single type of damage will be buffed when he is rallying. Insane. Absolutely crazy when you hit somebody with that freaking rally it's going to march 15 percent further as well at the max level 30 percent hp bonus for infantry so this commander is going to be really good for both situations rally and as well as open field because you'll get that hp bonus and as well as a marching speed in the open field i really really like that i like that they uh, did not condition this to be only for rally because you can see there's a period right there all right so third skill in here when attacking stronghold city infantry led by this commander gain 20 percent increased attack so this is going to be as you can see the condition in here strongholds or city so you can rally flags fortress pass holy sites that's going to take effect um and then of course the city so you're going to gain 20 percent increased attack and have a five percent chance oh my god five percent chance to dispel any current so current that he has current slow if you click this in here you're going to see marching reduction anything that is marching reduction poison like from tomiris oh man exhaust that is from chanda guptra weakening effects as well anything that is normal debuff um, as you can see here reducing attack defense or health or anything like weakening their healing effect it's not gonna work it's going to dispel that five percent chance as it increases the level okay as you can see here 40 percent infantry attack bonus oh and a probability of 20 percent that's pretty good usually we see a 10 percent probability but this is 20 percent probability pretty high actually this is this is really really great honestly it's it's insane but it's a condition, right? It is a condition when you are rallying. So he is going to be really, really great when he is rallying. But if he's not rallying, this skill is not going to take effect. This is common for most commanders. There's always one skill that is not working in certain situations. Now, Holy Tree Blessing. The fourth skill in here reduces all damage taken by 10% at the max level. <laughs> this is what I'm telling you. This, this commander is insane. It says here, while on the map, Reduces all damage taken when surrounded. Bonus reduction equals the number of surrounded enemies. It's a multiplier in here. So damage taken reduction by 10% and all damage taken decrease per stack 5%. Bro, that is insane. The number of surrounded enemies can be factored into the bonus damage calculation has an upper limit of six. So it has an upper limit of six. Does that mean like a maximum of six, right? Absolutely insane. So it reduces all damage taken by 10% in here. Wow. And the 5% per stack It's crazy. This is going to be really deadly. I, I got to get this. I got to unlock this. I just hope they let me unlock it. Uh, Mayan strength. Troop led by this commander deals 20% increased counterattack damage and take 5% less damage from all sources for 3 seconds after using a skill. This effect can trigger at most of every 5 seconds, once every 5 seconds. But so, looking at this, let's say you don't have all the infantry commanders and you have invested in YSG. 
You can even do a Pakal YSG. Having YSG to boost this damage factor, oh my god, it's good. And then YSG boosting this to gain um, more rage, be able to cast more of the skill. And then this is going to be a super tanky setup. Pakal YSG. What do you guys think? Even, you know, maybe you are not a huge spender. You don't have YSG. Um, well, you should have. But you can do a Pakal and Zun 2. So that's a very, very viable combination in here. Pakal, Zun 2. It makes it a little bit more tanky having that Zun 2 as a secondary as well. Great for like low spenders in here. Um, wow, this is really good. Let's take a look at uh, Chun Yok Jong. Of course, if you do a Pakal Chun Yok Jong, I'm sure this is going to be really, really great as well. Damage factor, additional damage factor. Wow, this is just insane damage in your 1700 plus 300 additional damage factor in here. Crazy. Yeah, if the target has been reduced to 30% or less units remaining. Now, let's take a look at the second skill in here. Infantry bonus, 40%. If this is led by... Uh, only infantry units and they deal 5% more damage against calves but takes 5% damage from archers of course of course but you can see the synergy in here um, you know if you pair this up with Pakal I would say Pakal as the primary uh, you get all that reduction already so even with this extra damage from the archers it's just going to basically remove that anyway so yeah, it, this is really nice. This is a nice, um, you know, combo. Really, Pakal and um, Chun Jok Jong. Usually, when they release commanders like this, is of course those are the synergies. But what's nice about this is this is going to really counter Jadwiga, right? Um, Stalwart. While on the map, troop led by this commander have forty percent chance to take twenty percent less skill damage. This damage reduction effect can trigger once every four seconds. Ooh, ooh. That's a super tanky setup. Wow, I would rather use Chun Jung Jung as a secondary. Defense tree is really good, better than attack tree. This is one this is one reason why I like Artemisia. But having that skill, wow, I, I can't believe it. 20% less skill damage, 40% chance. Wow. Um, and then wow, that's just crazy. And then um damage reduction, damage taken reduction by 50%. I think they made a mistake here. It says it has to change this to skill damage. But you can see from 20% to 50% skill damage taken. That is crazy. That's huge. That really counters archers. Even with this, this is nothing. Man, why is archers always getting screwed? Um, but yeah, I need to get this. If troop led by this commander consists of only infantry, gain 15% marching speed. With a 50% chance of dealing. Ooh. Dealing. Actually, 100% chance at the max level. Dealing a 5% increased skill damage. For 8 seconds when attacking? Wow. This effect can trigger once every 4 seconds. And can be stacked up to 8 times. This is crazy. I'm, I want to see this battle report. I, I, I want to see how this battle report will be. Wow. It's crazy. This is strong. Um, a vow to the debt. Okay, this is gonna be enhancing the stalwart, which is which one is a stalwart? This one. While on the map, troops led by this commander have forty percent chance to get incoming skill damage reduced by fifty percent and deal. Oh, and deal damage up to three enemies in a fan shape area. I think this is a typo. It says damage factor of 50. Could be wrong. Damage from this attack is reduced by 15%. I mean, come on. Seriously, Lilith. I think this is a typo. Um, the ability can trigger once every three seconds. But really, uh, I think that's a typo. Um, definitely, definitely, definitely a typo there. There's no way that is that is correct. So yeah, definitely confirmed with Lilith. This is um typo. So yeah, that's just bad typo there. Got to proofread that. So from Chun Jok Jong, you can get this guy from uh, Wheel of Fortune. We're just going to call this guy CJG. CJG. All right. So for CJG, we get it from the Wheel of Fortune. For Pakao, we get him from the MGE. So possible combinations in here. Definitely, you know, Pakao primary and CJG as a secondary, in my opinion. I think that's going to be really a good synergy. Um... 
I don't know what else you can do with this. You can probably do an Alexander Chan Jok Jung. But since I have an Alex Guan, this is going to be perfect because I'm still using a Richard Martel. What I'm going to do is do a Pakal and a Chan Jok Jung on my next infantry setup. I have three archers and two, uh, two infantry. That's how I like to roll. Um, yeah, I'm definitely going to get this. I can max it out. We've got insane amount of legendary commander sculptures waiting. We have 1.2K uh, in here. So that's going to be my combo. Uh, another combo, like I said, if you are just going for Pakal, you can do a Pakal YSG. You can do a Pakal Zun 2. Something that's going to give Pakal some rage would be really great. Um, chat in here, what do you think? You know, a Pakal Herald is not that bad either. Um, especially, you know the ability to attack strongholds and cities and of course like you know harold is such a great anti-swarm um commander in here would be really great as well um in the open field um another one that you can do is pakal guan yu honestly i would definitely put pakal as a primary but let us know what you think as well what do you think of other combinations do you have anything any creative combinations that you can suggest for Chun for CJG and as well as for uh, Pakal in here. I'll let you guys uh, type it down in the comment section below. So um, I'm going to read them. So if there's some interesting combinations, we can definitely do a highlight there in the future. But my goal, hopefully I can obtain this. I'm dying to obtain this just to give me to unlock it. It's okay. Just give me ability to unlock it. I want to get it and I'm going to max it out right now away with the 1,299 legendary commander sculpture. You think we can do it? I think we can do it. Besides that, rockers, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys had fun and enjoyed this video. I'll see you again next time.